Hey gang, this time around we're not looking at a specific object lesson to do, but rather where to do it. Taking your kids on site is a terrific and involving way to teach Bible truths. Now, if you've been watching my other object lesson videos, you know that they all come with a downloadable lesson plan and student activity page. Not this time. For one thing, doing an activity page while you're sitting on a branch in a tree might not be the safest thing to do. You'll know what I mean when you watch Pastor Rick Bunshu explain on-site object lessons. My name is Rick Bunshu and I'd like to give you an object lesson. Now this is an object lesson that you actually bring to your kids and do in front of them. This is an object lesson that you take your kids to. So for example, you might be teaching about the raising of Lazarus. Well, that's fine and good inside of a classroom. But you know what? What if you packed your kids into your car or your van and you drove to a cemetery, particularly one of those kinds that's got a crypt, and you sat outside that crypt, and then you taught your lesson there, surrounded by tombstones. I guarantee your kids will never forget that lesson by taking them someplace that reminds them and gives them a great picture of what that might have been like to be standing in front, standing in a cemetery, standing in front of a tomb when Jesus said, Lazarus, come out. In fact, you might even want to try that at your cemetery and have a friend hiding behind the crypt. Nah, don't do that. Suppose you're teaching the story of Zacchaeus. You know, the guy who was short of stature and he had to crawl up into the tree to see Jesus. Well, wouldn't it be great to tell that story sitting in a tree? Find a tree that'll hold your kids. Doesn't have to be that high off the ground even. Get a ladder and throw your kids in the car on Sunday morning, drive to that location and sit them up in the tree and maybe crawl up there with them and tell the story from the tree. I guarantee you they will never forget that story because if you took them on location, they're getting a bird's eye view of what Zacchaeus did when he looked down at Jesus. 